Rovers because they are super easy. Well, no, that's not why I love them. I love them because they taste delicious. That's why I love peppers. Right, exactly. um, but the one thing I don't like about peppers is how hard they are to actually cut them, or so I thought. Uh, my friend Amy uh, actually is the one that gave me hope that they uh, are not so hard after all. A couple years ago, she came over with her family, and uh, I was making fajitas. I had everything prepped, and the last thing that was left was the peppers, and I think I did that to myself because subconsciously I just couldn't bear to cut eight peppers. She came over and said, how can I help? And I said, please, take the peppers. Take them, cut them, please. Um, so she took them, and in about three minutes she had cut through eight peppers, and I was like, well, how the hell did you do that? You know, because it would have taken me probably 20, 25 minutes. So she gave me hope. So I have now learned how to cut a pepper, and I want to share it with you. One of the things that you want to look for is uniform color. You want bright colors and you want them to be completely the color you expect them to be. So here you go, beautiful red pepper. Here is a beautiful yellow pepper. Here what seems to be a beautiful yellow pepper, but when you turn it, if you look closely, it's half green, which means that they have taken the pepper off of the plant too early. This you don't want. You're not going to get the same level of sweetness that you would with this pepper. The other thing that I don't think I mentioned was that while it would seem super convenient to get three peppers in a packaged bag, you actually don't want those either because they're going to be more expensive um, and probably they're on their way out, meaning that the peppers are rotting in that bag. There's a lot of moisture in these, so you're going to create humidity in that bag and they're going to start to rot before you even get it home from the grocery store. So stay away from those as well. So let's get started. So here's the exciting part. The first thing you're going to need is a good knife. You want it to be nice and sharp because if it's not, then that's when you're actually going to hurt yourself. Um, please, just a public service announcement, please take the sticker off of your pepper. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hold this in sort of a pinch and you're going to cut the bottom off. Then you're just gonna turn this over and you're going to cut the top off, okay? You're gonna lay this flat and you're just gonna cut down the side turn it onto its side. And while I'm holding this up here because my fingers are away from the blade, I'm just going to cut through the, um, to all the inside, and I'm just gonna kinda cut this here. When I get too close to my hand, I'm just gonna go this way, see my fingers are out of the way, and I can actually just cut it, and this piece comes out perfectly, right? Always keep a bowl nearby so that you have less where you're gonna be walking back and forth to the garbage. So now I have this beautiful piece of pepper. I'm going to actually, um, I'm gonna cut it in half just to make this process a little bit easier. I'm gonna lay these two on top of each other. Then what you can do is you can just start cutting down through. And now you see the difference where I'm just putting it down and I'm rocking. I'm doing half the work because I have these two pieces on top of each other. And you're just gonna rock instead of sawing it and then that's what takes so much time. So you're really just gonna go through and you're just gonna rock it like this. So now I have beautiful pieces of pepper. If I then want to dice them, so now you've got it julienned. If you wanted to dice them, you can just take a grouping of them and you can hold them, keep your fingers out of the way and you're just gonna do the same thing. You're gonna turn it and now you have diced pieces and you would continue through this process. So we've gone through and I've shown you a couple different ways you can dice them, you can keep them julienned. Um, one of the things I wanted to make sure that I pointed out is that these pieces, I used to throw them away. So now what you do is you'll take the whole top and the bottom and what you can do is, there's no reason why you can't just continue to cut those and include those. I tend to though, because they're not the same shape as the other pieces, I tend to keep these as my snacks. Now that you've cut up all the peppers, you want to save them for a couple of days so that you have something to snack on when you get home from work or you want to be able just to have them ready to go into your omelets in the morning. What you do is you want to save them in plastic and throw them in the refrigerator. I put them in a plastic container. Got to keep in mind though that you don't want to actually seal the container because what's going to happen is everything's going to get soggy. It's going to create humidity in here. So just 
put it in the container, leave the lid open a little bit when you put it in the veggie crisper drawer and they'll stay for you probably for the next, I'm going to say two to three days so that you'll have them for at least part way through the week. And that's it. If you like what you heard today and you want to get a little bit more flossum in your kitchen, just click the button here to like and subscribe.